Hello, this is an unscripted tutorial for balancing skill API. Uh, let's say you're trying to balance Singularity's damage right here. It says 480 damage. Let's change that. In Server Townie Plugins, we go into Skill API, Dynamic, Skill, Classes, and then you'll see all the different classes here. So we want to go into Archmage, Singularity, oh, that's Ripping Void. And uh, in order to get to the damage value, usually what you will have to do is uh, you see that where it says deals 480 damage, it's instead a placeholder. Well, this placeholder gets changed uh, when the server starts, of course. But it's a pretty reliable place to just do Control F. You highlight that intelligence one dot value, and you'll see that the icon key is here, and it gets you right to the damage portion that you need. So right here, this is uh, this whole thing is uh, the component that you want to change. Everything below it not needed. Everything above it, not needed. Don't touch those. Just focus on this part. You can tell it is all part of one object by the indentation. So, you see this? How nothing is on the same level of indentation, and then boom, there's something in uh, the same level of indentation. That means it's a new object. Ignore. Anyway, here's the value base and the value scaling. It's pretty self-explanatory. The base is level 1. The scale is level two and three and four and blah 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 right uh, the cooldown is up here and the cooldown scale pa base and scale same thing mana base and scale all up here uh, <clears throat> there are some cases where it's a little bit more complicated let me show you one case uh, the case of uh, let's do this one first thief backup plan in this case, Thief doesn't actually use the standard backup plan. So notice how this isn't attribute cooldown like it is in Singularity. See that? That's because it does its own cooldown system because, you know, it has to be recast and stuff like that. So you would search up cooldown, and you'll see here's cooldown. And this is actually where the real cooldown is, negative 22. And here's another cooldown, negative 22. And this is, uh, this is for setting it off cooldown. So, yeah, that's that's what that's doing. But anyway, that's an example of something where it's a little bit more complicated than meets the eye. Another example of something that's more complicated is Lacerate from Duelist. So you might be thinking, okay, search up Strength 1. Oh, here's what I need to change. Let me change that. And you're done? Wrong. There's actually multiple cases where this Strength 1 actually has to be changed. This is dealing damage only when you when you lacerate the first time. If the ability lands, then it's going to actually start doing this one's damage. So you actually have to change all four instances instead of just one. So make sure when you uh, search for this uh, this 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 uh, character or word here, you get all the cases instead of just one of them. And finally, there's some situations where we intentionally. Uh, it's better if I just show you, if I can find an example. Let's see, probably Hardened Resolve has one. Right, you see how this says Hardened Resolve Lore? You see how it says Lore at the end? That's because this thing isn't actually connected to what actually it does. So if we go to Hardened Resolve Lore, it's a value of 0 0.5 and it scales by 0 0.5. If you change this, only the description is changed. Only this thing has changed. The actual thing does not get changed. You'll actually have to dig through it to find it. And in order to do that, you just take the lore out of the word. And usually, you'll find the actual one. And so here's the actual thing that it's that is uh, that is affecting the uh, lore. And the reason we don't put this in the uh, description is, well, this one says something percent but the actual value is actually 0 0.005. So this is this is actually what? This is 5%, right? Or 0.5%. But we don't want to show 0 0.005. We want to show 0.5% because it looks better. So that's why sometimes we make a fake little number so that we can just put it into the description. And then the actual number is somewhere else. So in that case, you'll actually have to look a little, you'll have to look around. And worst case scenario, you might even have to ask me for help to see where where the actual stuff is happening. But in this case, for example, you would change these values. So you'd have to change both of them. So, yep, uh, that's it. I think uh, I think that covers everything you need to know.
Uh, anything more complicated than that, you would just have to ask me. All right, good luck. Thanks for helping.